My name's Ben Ford and I'm Excavation Director at Hampton Court in Base Court for Oxford Archaeology where we've been working for the last three months during the resurfacing works. We've made some very significant discoveries here. We found the earliest building dating to the mid 14th century, that's about 1350, the time of Edward III, and not only that, but it's also extremely large and about as big as the Great Hall itself. I'm standing on top of the mid 14th century southern wall to this very large building. You can see it stretching away in the distance there. A very large building indeed, which was part of the manor owned by the Knights Hospitallers. And they were kind of military monks, if you like. They were very wealthy and they were granted these lands in the 13th century. Um, they had a number of buildings on the site and we don't know exactly the function of this building but it could be anything from a residence to house royal visitors all the way through to a barn or some sort of very large kitchen. Well, in front of me here is the large southern wall to the mid-14th century building. Uh, this building's collapsed, but how did it collapse and how did it come to its end? Well, an intriguing clue from documentary sources suggests that in 1353, Edward III came here, King Edward III came here with his entourage and a result of a night of partying was that a number of buildings at the site burnt down and intriguingly we have on the inside of the walls a number of fire reddened patches you can see in front of me that seem quite randomly distributed on the floor of this building that might suggest that this is one of the buildings that burnt down during that night of partying. The feature I'm standing behind here is dated to the late 15th century. It's octagonal in shape and made of brick and we think it was the foundation to a fountain that stood here prior to Wolsey's courtyard but then became a feature within Wolsey's courtyard. And the reason we think it's a fountain is because of this lead pipe that's over 500 years old that leads up to it and this would have carried water from a, another part of the palace to supply the fountain in this position. In the 1490s, the manor of Hampton passed to Charles Daubney, a favourite of Henry VII. He lived here for about 15 years and these structures belong to that phase of activity at Hampton Court just before Wolsey took over. I'm standing on the clay floor of one of the buildings that belongs to that phase. We think this may have been some form of kitchen to service the residents' houses um, that would have been around this area. And in the background there, you can see a well-preserved corner half that may have been for cooking on. One of the most important functions of a surface is not only to take traffic, but also to drain the water away. A flooded surface is no use to anyone. And when Wren resurfaced this whole courtyard at the end of the 1600s, he installed these very well-built brick drains that you can see running away behind me. They cover this whole courtyard and drain each corner and in the new campaign of resurfacing, they will be repaired and renewed to be used for another 200 years.